Insuring personal cars and houses is big business, with more than $17 billion in personal lines premium written each year. Many brokers tend to leave it for the direct insurers to fight over, but the right approach can add a profitable income stream. MGA's Andrew Faber shares five of his tips for success. Look, the first tip for brokers is to know the client. You're always going to get some clients out there that for them the price of insurance is the main determinating factor as to why they're going to buy it. Uh, they're the sort of clients you want to make a decision about whether you want to be chasing those or chasing the clients that you already may have a relationship with, they're business clients, they understand and value insurance in their business and have a chat about it because they're more likely to be willing to spend a little bit extra to have the much better cover available uh, through a broker and by using the services of a broker they understand what they're going to get at time of claim and uh, the overall assistance by using a broker as opposed to going direct for their home contents insurance. Have someone in your staff download the wordings, review, pull it apart, find out what the limitations are, find out what the response is, whether it's defined events, accidental damage, and create a cheat sheet so that when your staff are talking to your clients and your customers, they can relate straight away to information about the wordings that are out there direct, talk about what the limitations are and why the policies they're getting direct might be so cheap. When your staff are talking to your potential customers or existing customers about domestic insurance and they're talking about what the direct market doesn't cover, they can flow straight into talking about what their policies or the policies you're going to offer them do. So when you can sit there and say, in the direct market, ABC isn't covered, however, the policy we're going to offer you covers you for this and more, and really highlight the benefits that they're going to get by going through a broker and through the policies that we can recommend for them. a recent news article to pull out of a paper or pull offline to demonstrate to a client that disaster scenarios can happen to everyone. You don't have to be in a flood prone area, you don't have to be backing onto bushland to have a, a, a natural disaster happen or, or a total loss scenario to your house. Uh, and I think those real life stories and news articles are a great way to dispel the it will never happen to me mentality that a lot of people have about their major investment. By starting on defined events, you actually will be very price competitive. For the, even for those clients that are happy to pay a little bit extra, you're starting to demonstrate that the prices are there and thereabouts, and then talk to them about the extra 10, 15% that they might need to spend to get the much better coverage. We all know accidental damage is the best cover out there for the clients, but even if they do stick with the defined events through yourself as a broker, they're gonna be much better protected. Mm -hmm.